but uh this is the show for tonight uh men speaking out uh it's a serious topic you know essay is nothing to play with uh, and we're going to talk about it man and how it happens uh to men all the time really let's get into it we don't talk about how a lot of men get sexually assaulted First of all, the men don't see it as sexual assault because we program men to always like sex, mm. to never say no to sex. If you say no to sex, you're gay. Like so many guys I have met that'll be like, my first sexual experience was my babysitter touched me. Because y'all be exposed to it at such a young age, you're mentally kind of worn out. Sex starts with the mind. Like sex is uh, for guys really mental because even if you're nervous, you can't get it up, mm -hmm. you know? And she's right. She's right. Uh, I wish we had the whole video on that. I just got an excerpt from this. But we don't really talk about sexual assault uh, amongst men and amongst when women do it to men because we're we're kind of conditioned. That we're supposed to like that. Right? We're supposed to like the babysitter touching us. We're supposed to like that because we're men. Right? Shoot, I saw a video with... Uh, uh, that was Jamaican, right? And you've seen all these little kids, little boys, like, man, barely barely five years old, maybe under, all of them were under 10, I'll tell you that, all of them were under 10. And they were freaking on little girls, and they were, they were uh, encouraged to do so. I saw another video of a, of, of, of a young boy um, freaking. The, the, a grown woman was rubbing her booty on this boy's, you know? And he was dancing on it. And it was it was laughed at. It was it was like, yeah, yeah, you know. Fast forward other way around, wouldn't that look weird? A grown man, you know? Wouldn't that look weird if it was the other way around? But because it happens to a man, it's not weird. You know, I remember even with myself growing up, um, just as a young man, 12, 13, 14 years old. And uh, I was I was getting a little tall. Uh, I was getting a little, you know, I was getting a little beard already, a little, little, little mustache growing. And I was looking older for my age. But I was a child. I was coming into being a man. And, you know, back then, let's be real, it was cool to get the older woman. Why would it? Why, why would you want to date a young a girl your age when you can date an older woman? That was considered cool growing up. I can't tell you countless how many older women I had when I was at a young age, and they knew I was young, and they didn't care. Now flip flip it on the other end. It's it's it it's R. Kelly, right? Oh man, we gotta lock that. We gotta throw away the key. You know, we act like, um, you know, when a man does it, it's the, and, and it is bad. It's bad. It's bad. It shouldn't be done, period. You know, uh, men and women should be respected in, in that sense. That's a fact. That's a fact. But this stuff happens all the time to men that's overlooked. Don't believe me? Let me show you a clip. See if I can find the right clip, y'all. I don't want to jump around. I don't want to jump around too much, but I want to see if I can find the right clip. Um, I don't know if this is the one. We don't talk about how a lot of men get sexually. The one I just played that. Men get sexually assaulted by women. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's play this. Men get sexually assaulted by women. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, this is a joke, right? Probably a skit. I don't know who the heck that dude is, but he's probably imitating somebody who's signing autographs. And he's just there to sign autographs and make some money and, you know, show up for the fans. And what happens? Because you're a celebrity, because you're a man, it's allowed. Just, just force. Imagine if a man tries to force himself and kiss like Cardi B or, or Jennifer Lopez or, you know, a man tries to, you know, take a picture with Beyonce and cop a, you know, the world will go crazy, wouldn't they? Wouldn't the world just go crazy? Wouldn't it be all over the news that this happened and, you know, there'd be a bunch of men shaming and toxic masculinity, and they probably bring up Andrew Tate and Jordan Peterson and said, see, this is what this is what this is what your masculinity brings, you know. Blame it all on on, on the manosphere, you know. Oh, you know, probably throw in some passport bros, you know. Just just they'll go up and smoke, you know. Men hating, just 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 shaming us. But look at the, it happens to a man and no one says nothing. He, he's strong enough. He's strong enough to resist. He's strong enough to, oh, he likes that. Oh, he likes that. You know, he's just pretending. He really, he really, you know, that's what they say to us. But when the shoe's on the other foot, but when the shoe's on the other foot, let's play another video, you guys. We're going to go through this. I don't know how much help I'm going to get today, man, but we're going to power through. We're going to power through another video.